I want to make sure everything's centered before I start. Anyways, uh, it is time to start the vlog for Friday, September 25th, uh, 2020. Yeah. <laughs> Almost at 2016, but it's not 2016, is it? <sighs> Anyways, uh, I think this is going to be a short segment because I don't really have anything to say. I just came out of meditation. And my mind is elsewhere, significantly elsewhere. Uh, I did fix up a light so that I have more light coming from behind the camera than I did before. Uh, so basically, I've got good filler right now. It, typically, uh, you don't want a, a light to spot, be on the spot. You have to fill the environment so that the, the environment, when you're filming it, looks like it has natural lighting. Uh, in other words, daylight is the optimal choice. And ironically enough, you don't actually have to spend a lot of money on lighting. I spent... <laughs> I'm using old light stands, old old lighting fixtures. These are lights uh, that... Uh, these were held old, old incandescent bell bulbs. Uh, they were stand up... They, 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 they were from the floor to... Uh, oh, about five feet, six feet in height, and what I did is I put, uh, I put these uh, LED uh, light bulbs in them. Very cheap, I got three for nine dollars. And they, put a, they provide a very good light, so I'm happy with it. The bulbs last me forever, so I'm not spending a lot of money, and that makes me very happy. <laughs> I was able, and now this is coming to me, I was, was able to uh, finish fixing up the YouTube stroll. The basic structure is there. Uh, I will go into more on the structure of the uh, of the uh, YouTube stroll uh, and how it's going to work. And I'll bring in as as I talk about things. I'll bring in various different examples from there, from uh, the different vlogs I watch, or, or when I go by, and uh, how I go by, and sort of how long I spend watching. But uh, right now, uh, my leg is a little bit in pain. I just finished something to eat as I was as I was meditating, and uh, I'm going back to bed now. I'm really really tired. In the summer, because of the heat, I sleep less. When the fall comes, because it's colder. I sleep more and it never actually finishes anyway it's time for another package opening Interesting long tube. I have no idea what it is right now at this point. Well, I have an idea of what it is. Ah. What I've been waiting for. Digital thermometer. Yay for that. This cooking thermometer is good enough for for candy. This is, I, I can do uh, I can do candy with this uh, meats. I've already, already more or less got down to a science <clears throat> uh, in terms of time and length and so on and so forth. Let's turn it on and see. Apparently I need batteries. <clears throat> Anyways, uh, I'll see if I need what type of batteries it needs and then go from there. 
But this is the unpackaging. Well, it's just about 4.30 in the morning on Saturday, September 26th, because Friday was the uh, 25th. Let me go back and check that again. Oh, yeah, it's the 26th. Time gets away from you. <laughs> and you don't always realize what the time is or particularly when you're doing when you're doing uh, in-depth research and things will be popping up a little bit more as now that we're back to school the schedule starting to pick up uh, more work is being sorry uh, One of my uh, one of my charging cords fell off its stand, so <laughs> I had to pick that up. As I say, time t tends to get away from you. You don't necessarily un you don't necessarily realize what time it is uh, uh, as you're doing your work. Uh, however, it's uh, it's not uh, it's, it, it, it is correctable. It just that it doesn't always is is not as easy as you think maybe to correct things well unless of course you have a, a phone in front of you all the time. It happens that time gets it, as you start focusing in on something, it doesn't seem like you're spending a long time on it, but it, the amount of time that you end up spending is significant, uh, and that's where you end up missing a lot. Oh. And of course. Having a 24-7 day, I mean, I finished at 1.30 in the morning with my YouTube stroll. I ended up going off the YouTube stroll and watching some cartoons. I watched uh, Kim Possible. But at the same time, uh, I was awake. I couldn't sleep anymore by 3.30, so I just got up and did some milling around. But the thing is, I also done a lot of. I had. I thought I was tired. I thought I could have had some good sleep, but I, because I had um, made a, a pork sausage in uh, the kitchen, and that took oh, at least the time you marinate everything. You, you the time you get all the spices together. You have to let the uh, meat sit with the spices for a bit, so it picks up. The, the meat will pick up the flavor of the spices and then you have to uh, you have to sort of pack everything and what I do is I make rather than making a long uh, sausage within the casing uh, I make them uh, uh, patty style and that's how I end up doing the, I end up doing the, the sausages and so they come out they don't come out pretty good uh, right now they're in the freezer setting up because they, they go into the oven uh, with the char siu, the the setup I have for the char siu, uh, you'll see I uh, have the gra I'll have the graphic up and I'll show you the char siu. Uh, it's basically a uh, rack over a deep pan. Inside the deep pan, inside the deep pan is uh, an, an assortment of spices that the fat drips into. And as that happens, it smokes back up and gives you a nice barbecue smoke flavor, but with the flavor of the spice inside uh, the uh, inside the inside whatever burger or whatever meat you're, you're doing. So in other words, the smoke flavor it gives, it gives you a nice barbecue flavor. And that that took it two, three hours in the kitchen doing that. I was standing the whole time. Uh, my ankle that I had rolled uh, last weekend, uh, I rolled it uh, going to my parents' house. 
not trying uh, stopping uh, uh, with the uh, with the uh, scooter or the bike or anything like that. You have to stop with the you have to stop, uh, and part of the process of stopping is putting your foot down or both feet down to sort of stop. So you balance the back bike out uh, the, or the scooter. And if you don't put it down right, you can end up rolling the ankle. And that's ex but exactly what I did. So but it's getting better now. But anyway, I was on my f my feet for three hours on the ankle, and uh, I went to bed. Uh, no, I actually went did my YouTube stool, watched the cartoons, and then went to bed around one thirty. I couldn't watch. I couldn't go any further, so I just uh, shut everything down and went to bed. Well, 3.30, two hours later, I'm up again. So, that's kind of how things go. And the thing is, it, 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 because we continuously work with, uh, uh, we continuously are in the frame of mind of the Yowie vlogs, of, this is part of the standard discussion, of whether you're worth it or not. It doesn't matter how you feel. No refunds. We're moving forward.